Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province recently announced plans to improve 60 local rivers in the province by the year 2030. Entailing a total allocation of 1.3 trillion Korean won, these plans were established after the transfer of nationally subsidized river improvement projects to local autonomies in 2020. The province will implement its plans in phases, concentrating on the improvement of water quality as well as aesthetic and ecological environments, rather than simple riverbank work expansion. On January 13th, Kyunggi Province selected Seoul National University Bundang Hospital as the province's candidate for Infectious Disease Medical Institute designation by the central government. Acting Kyunggi Province Governor Oh Byung-gwan later visited the hospital and offered encouragement to its personnel. As part of related efforts, Kyunggi Province has also signed agreements with five general hospitals, including SNU Bundang Hospital, as well as Kyunggi Provincial Medical Centers, for the establishment of a joint infectious disease response system. On January 8th, an official provincial funeral was held for the three firefighters of Pyeongtaek City who died while fighting a fire at a construction site. Held at Pyeongtaek's Ichung Culture and Sports Center, this funeral saw more than 300 attendees. In addition to the families of the deceased, Korean President Moon Jae-in and Acting Kyunggi Province Governor Oh Byung-gwan, as well as National Assembly members, local assembly members, and fellow firefighters, came to pay their respects. The Korean Ministry of the Interior and Safety awarded official honors to the deceased, while Kyunggi Province promoted them by rank posthumously. The deceased were interred at the Daejeon National Memorial Cemetery. Kyunggi Province is recruiting an organization to serve as an assistant education operator of an on-site industrial disaster prevention education program this year. Implemented as provincial policy last year, this education program aims to promote industrial safety awareness and capabilities among small enterprises in the province with less than 50 employees. After the January 26th application deadline, the province will select one organization to serve as an assistant education operator through primary and secondary reviews of operation plan feasibility, operation capabilities, and related expertise. Kyunggi Province recently staged a crackdown on fire safety violations at 193 distribution center construction sites. On January 19th, Acting Kyunggi Province Governor Oh Byung-gwan visited one such site and encouraged the personnel to observe proper safety management. Following a recent fire at a distribution center in Pyeongtaek City, the province plans to conduct special inspections, focusing on fire facility maintenance and management, as well as fire safety management practices, at 1,022 large construction sites. These inspections will continue until next month in cooperation with related organizations so as to prevent similar fire incidents. Kyunggi Province is providing transportation cost support so as to attract large numbers of young employees to industrial complexes and help SMEs resolve personnel shortages. Launched in 2018, this initiative encourages youths to find employment at industrial complexes by alleviating transportation cost burdens stemming from unfavorable transportation conditions. Benefits include monthly transportation support of 50,000 Korean won that can be used for subway, bus, and taxi fares, as well as for fuel and electric vehicle charging costs. To begin 2022, the Year of the Tiger, Kyunggi Province is presenting exhibitions that convey messages of hope at its northern provincial government complex. The Kyunggi Millennium Gallery Road features paintings by Jang Hee Jin, while the Kyunggi Peace Plaza features sculptures made with discarded tires by Ji Yong Ho. At the Kyunggi Peace Plaza, viewers can enjoy sculptures of various colors and shapes from 5 p.m. until 10 p.m. 
Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.